in this uh, talk i will be discussing about prematurity and preterm uh, birth that is very common in india and this uh, prematurity awareness month i would like to discuss about the main uh, causes of prematurity or preterm birth and delivery as well as the complications that are associated with preterm birth Preterm birth, as we know, is a delivery that occurs before 37 weeks of gestation. Normally, the uh, uh, total duration of gestation is around 40 weeks. And if the delivery occurs before 37 weeks, it is termed as preterm birth. Preterm birth is a very common uh, in India. And in fact, India has the highest incidence all over the world. About one-tenth of all deliveries in India are preterm. About the incidence being about 11.1 to 16.1%. Uh, of deliveries in India are preterm. So we have a very large incidence and a very high incidence and it is very important that uh, we should take uh, enough measures to prevent this and also to deal with the complications that are associated with preterm birth. So uh, this is uh, very important that patient education regarding such things is a very important thing and that is a, a challenge to the medical fraternity regarding a preterm birth. The most important reasons uh, for preterm birth uh, would actually be in patients, you know, the medical causes are mainly in patients who have had preterm birth earlier. They have, they are more likely to have a preterm delivery again in the successive pregnancies. Such patients should always be aware of the signs that are, uh, and that indicate that they might go into a preterm uh, delivery and can be in constant touch with the obstetrician regarding uh, this and apart from the reason, apart from a history of preterm birth, other reasons are any kind of surgery done on the cervix, cervical trauma, which causes the strength of the cervix to become less. That is, the tensile strength becomes less, and this will cause a preterm delivery or delivery before the before term. Other reasons could be a pregnancy-related complications of the patient, like if in case of multiple pregnancies, like twin pregnancy, triplets. The weight of the uterus becomes so big that the uh, cervix gives gives way, and uh, most of these deliveries, you know, multiple pregnancies uh, usually occur uh, before term. And then other is uh, there's the vaginal bleeding. The most important reasons being placenta previa or abruptio placenti, uh, in which uh, a pre uh, an even pregnancy induced hypertension, in which preterm delivery or, or premature birth are very common. And these patients usually go into preterm deliveries and right? they start have, uh, having pain before 37 weeks. And then apart from that, smoking, you know, new lifestyle changes nowadays, you know, smoking uh, during pregnancy is one leading cause of uh, preterm birth that occurs, a preterm labor that uh, it induces preterm labor. And it, uh, there are studies regarding this. And uh, a patient who has had, patients who have had uh, uh, a very low weight before pregnancy. The pre-pregnancy weight was about 35-40. These patients are also, it has been seen, go into premature labor pains uh, before 37 weeks of pregnancy. The most important warning signs that the patient should actually uh, be aware that there will be mild abdominal pain and usually especially lower abdominal pain and lower back pain. This uh, is the initially, uh, these, are, these are mild, but later on the, these become stronger, more frequency and intensity of these abdominal pains or uterine cramps increases. And this will be associated with vaginal discharge. What, vaginal discharge initially will be watery and later on becomes a, a blood stain discharge. And if there, any patient having these signs before term should uh, immediately contact their obstetrician or the hospital where they are going undergoing antenatal checkup. This is very important that the patient should always be in constant touch with the doctor regarding all this. And uh, after uh, uh, this mild, uh, when these mild contractions increase, the, uh, the uh, uh, infection of the amnion and chorion, the trimembranes is also one important reason for preterm delivery. And in this condition, a premature rupture membrane, PROM, that which we say is uh, very common, especially uh, due to infection, you know, infection in the uh, um, vaginal area that spreads inside and it infects the um, chorion and amnion, that is the membranes covering the uh, fetus and uh, this may cause a premature rupture and these are the most important things that the patient should be aware of and if they have any symptoms they should immediately contact the obstetrician. 
then uh, the main um, criteria for managing preterm labor is uh, seeing the maturity of the baby if the baby is mature and we see uh, that uh, um, uh, the baby might be able it is above 2 kg and might be able to survive and then uh, uh, we uh, put the patient on uh, corticosteroids so that they are for lung maturity and try to postpone it for the minimum number of uh, days uh, which we can. And it, uh, in most of the cases, if the baby is premature and we are suspecting such a case of preterm birth, in such condition, a precautionary steroid injection should always be uh, given to the patient uh, uh, so that uh, the lung maturity occurs and the surfactant, which is responsible for the maturity of the lung, should be given earlier even at 30 32 weeks it should be given so if we are anticipating such a preterm that the patient might go into preterm labor so this is an important thing that most of the obstetrician do nowadays in such patients who have such kind of history of preterm labor and because we have need to postpone the as long as we can the delivery if the patient comes in an early stage and she's not gone into uh, labor, in that condition we use tocolytex. Total tocolytics, which are uterine relaxants, and they relax the uterine muscles so that uh, the patient uh, uh, the pain reduces. Apart from that, certain progesterones also uh, are also help in uterine relaxation. These are the main line of treatment for postponing and uh, stopping the pre preterm labor, but uh, it is not successful in all cases. And in such case, cases, we uh, usually the obstetrician and hospitals are, uh, have to manage accordingly. And uh, the main management uh, is uh, to uh, main reason for postponing is at least uh, we get the time to give the patient steroids for lung maturity as well as as long as we can so that the baby's organs, the internal organs, are mature enough and the survival of the baby would be much better uh, this is the reason that we try to postpone but in certain cases if there are maternal complications like placenta previa plus abruptio placenti or pregnancy induced hypertension where the mother's life is at risk in such cases we usually in order to save the life of the mother uh, we usually uh, don't postpone it uh, for a very long time and uh, uh, of course the complications which are associated with preterm Labor are mainly complications that occur are to the baby, the baby because it is premature. The complications can be, the short term complications, the most important is respiratory distress syndrome, RDS, that we say is because of the lungs not being mature and the and surfactant has not been produced. So for that purpose, we need to give a steroids um, a precautionary at 30-32 weeks ideally. And uh, uh, that is respiratory distress apart from the internal organs being premature and have not developed properly. This can lead to visual disability of the baby also. The long term complications are mostly because of hypoxia, that is lack of oxygen uh, to the uh, baby because, uh, because it was unable to breathe properly or due to respiratory distress. And the initial lack of oxygen might cause certain kind of cerebral damage. And this leads to cerebral palsy and behavioral uh, changes in the baby and abnormal uh, learning and disability. And these are long term complications and manifest usually several months to a few years after birth. So these are the various complications that uh, uh, we need to uh, actually uh, face. In, and it is uh, really agonizing to uh, for a patient, uh, for a mother to have a uh, um, have a specially able child with cerebral palsy. So in order to avoid such kind of complications, I would like all patients to be aware that uh, they should, in such cases where they have such a history of uh, preterm uh, labor earlier or a history of cervical surgery or any such complications associated with pregnancy, they should always be in regular antenatal checkup so as to uh, um, have a brighter future for themselves as well as for their ch children or the babies. So uh, with this program, uh, with this uh, talk, I would uh, stress very important that antenatal checkup is very important in all these patients. And with uh, literacy and awareness being more, I uh, would uh, like uh, um, uh, this um, month of prematurity awareness month uh, to be a great success. Thank you. Mm -hmm.